So my name is uh, Chris Antoszynski. I'm the CTO of Ursella Inc. Uh, we're a small startup based in uh, New York City. Uh, what we do is that we develop a direct air capture to fuels device. So what this means is that we have a device that captures the CO2 from the air. Uh, we add water and energy, and this energy needs to come from a renewable source. And from this, we can then produce different types of liquid fuels. Our idea is based on uh, small scale and mass production. So uh, the device that we're building now as a prototype is going to be the final size of the device. So this is going to be a device that can produce up, up uh, until one gallon of fuel per day. And then if more is needed, the device itself will be modular. So we will scale in numbers and not, uh, and not on size. One part of the new technology that we're developing here at Tercella is the direct air capturing unit. So uh, nobody has really done this the way that we're doing it today. Uh, this is literally designed from the ground up. There were, there's really no precedence that can compare to it. So, of course, that means that there are a lot of unknowns. So uh, we reached out to Modelon to get some help to model uh, the system, to make sure that we capture the chemistry of the system, that we capture the physics of the system. And having this model in-house has allowed us to really speed up our development process and has allowed us to, to, to make design choices before actually building the unit. The main reason why we went down the path using Model Impact is the, that we knew that it's a tool that supports multi-domain simulation. So our system, like all systems, are, are comprised of, uh, of several different, let us say, physical domains. So we have mechanical systems that, that are interacting with chemical systems, we, who are inter uh, interacting with the thermodynamical and fluid dynamical systems. So we knew by going down this past using model, model impact and, and Delica, uh, we, can, we could model our entire system using one tool. Uh, the second reason is uh, the speed of the simulation. So we are more interested in getting a good understanding of the overall system and maybe not in-depth understanding of each and every small detail of each component in, in the system. And, to get this kind of uh, system approach where we could get the whole system up and running and get, let's say, simulations times that were reasonable where, where we could iterate fast and get the data we needed to analyze uh, fast, we knew that this was the best tool to use. We had a great cooperation. Uh, we, uh, when we started this first project to, to get the DAC up and running together, uh, our team worked very well with the mod modern team. Uh, they had a modern team had a very good um, way of actually listening and making sure to understand what our requirements and needs were for the model. And our team here worked closely with the modern team to make sure that the development of the model was moving in the right direction without waiting too long. I mean, of course, doing development like this, a big risk is always that uh, that uh, the requirements uh, starting the project were not well defined and the end product that you actually receive is not what you asked for in the beginning. So uh, Modlon did a great job there. Uh, we had weekly updates. Uh, we looked at results together. Uh, we made sure that the product or the model that, that we received, received in the end had all the all the bells and whistles that we were looking for from the get-go of the project. If we didn't have model models and uh, modeling and simulation tools available to us, there are things we would never try. There are uh, results that we would never have. I mean, this, to these tools and these models uh, unlocks development paths that would otherwise be impossible to achieve for us. Having these tools, uh, they basically allow us to to test concepts uh, without building them, uh, we can also tune things. We can do. We get a very. We get a much better under understanding of the system by using these tools. And in the end, where where, where the value really comes for us is that this saves us uh, a lot, a lot of time, and it also allows us to test and develop more complex concepts that we otherwise uh, could do because. Well, 
now we're testing it with models uh, instead of testing it with lab, which would in the lab, which would be way too time consuming. You know? One thing that we really got to appreciate here with our seller working with Modelon was the deep level of knowledge that we found at the, uh, with the team working at Modelon. And also, uh, like I mentioned before, I mean, for us, it's really important to move forward fast. Uh, and we also feel that each time we have a problem, so maybe a technical question, uh, something with the tool, with the model, or also, uh, or it could also be a commercial question to the sales team. Uh, we feel that they are always extremely responsive and they're always looking for solutions to any problem. So we really appreciate that. Uh, as of course, we, we, the, the, we really feel like the relationship has worked out great and uh, we're really getting a lot of value through our interaction with Modern on a day-to-day -day basis.